Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Akima Backroad 4 bike carrier on our 2020 Cadillac Escalade. Now as you can see, we do have a hanging style with us today, and it utilizes a dual arm support system. Why that's gonna be great. Some of those single arm models, you got a lot more sway on the left and right here. As you can see though, we're gonna go ahead and get a lot of that play eliminated going left and right, cause we are utilizing these dual arms. Now with these arms as well, and with the hanging style, keep in mind, if you are looking for a way of getting those carbon frames down the road, this unfortunately will not be a good option for you as this frame contact will deteriorate those carbon frames. And if you any step through or women's bikes or potentially those kiddos bikes, you might have a little bit of issue of getting your frame to actually work. We recommend picking up a bike adapter bar, which you can purchase on our site as well. And that'll just make us getting those frame contacts nice and easy for ourselves. Taking a look at the end here, we do have a little bit of a bottle opener here for you and your friends when you're done with your ride. That's always a Yakima favor on there. And as well at the end here, we do have an integrated bike cable lock here. As you can see, that just simply goes through the bike frame on the end here and clips into here. Now keep in mind, you can only utilize that feature if you do have four bikes on here in totality. So if you're only putting one or two bikes here on a consistent basis, maybe pick up a cable lock for yourself as well that you can put on the rest of the rack. Now keep in mind here too, this is a Yakima product. So as you can see, you can utilize the same key system. We'll use that later down on the hitch as we talk about it. However, you have other Yakima products, you can actually get those key to light. So that's a really nice feature. Now take a look here in these cradles, we actually have these zip strip technologies and all these are, they're just a little, little zip strip ratchet here. And as you can see, it has a nice little foam padding at the top to prevent any kind of damage to our frame, as well as our crater. Cradle has a little bit of air pockets in here on this soft rubber. That's just going to reduce any of the damage, as we mentioned, on our frame as well. And also, you can see you have that little bit of a groove in there. Hopefully, we can get those bike cables in there. We're not deteriorating our frame as we go down the road. So let's go ahead and take a look at actually getting this guy off of our rack and how easy that is to do. As you mentioned with the zip strips, we just simply have to press these levers here pulling these zip strips out. Now the only issue I kind of have with this bike rack is these strips themselves. As you can see, they are very easy to use and you know, the utilitarian aspect it is nice. However, they can be a little easy to forget where you put them. So make sure you have a pocket or two to store them. Now taking a look at the inner cradle here, we do have a nice anti-sway feature as well. Keep in mind, as you're getting these bikes on here, you are gonna have sway as they go back and forth, especially with four bikes. However, this has actually a few designs to combat that. Each of these subsets is seven inches apart from each other. So you're naturally getting a lot of distance, which is nice for your bikes. And we have this anti-sway cradle here as well, utilizing the same zip strip technology we talked about before. All we simply have to do is press that lever. And as you can kind of see, this is going to back up to our wheel. However, this cradle actually can move a little bit like that. And then we can repeat the process and finish it off. Now keep in mind with 37 and a half pounds capacity per bike on here, you're gonna get most of your standard bikes on here, most of those mountain bikes, but just make sure you're watching your weight as you go. And then we just simply wanna support both ends of our bike and simply walk it off like so, and then we're ready to hit the road. So very easy to do. As you can see, it's very simple. Those zip strips make it quick and easy for us as well. Now keep in mind, we are adding a little bit of length to our vehicle, especially on our Escalade. We already in quite a long vehicle. So let's go ahead and see just how much we actually add to ourselves. Going from the rear of our vehicle here, going down, looks to be about, oh, let's say, sorry about that. 46 inches from the rear of our vehicle. Now that's a little lengthy, but keep in mind you are getting seven inch subsets on here. You are getting four bikes. So, you know, you're paying more what you get for here. But let's take a look at actually condensing this down, which is another great feature of the back road here. As you can see, we do have this simple little lever mechanism and all we have to do, pull up on that plastic, walk our mass down, and it'll click into place. And you can see it's hanging there ready for us to go. So let's take a look, see how much length we actually shave down. And taking a look from the rear of the bumper here, Two, even these zip strips seem to be the third thing sticking out. We got about 15 inches or so. Already cutting down a lot of that length, so that's a great option for us. Now keep in mind, like we said, we are getting a lot of bikes on there, so it's nice to actually get that condensed. Another great thing about this product as well, we can actually utilize our hatch feature, get in the back of our vehicle. All we simply have to do is pull this little plastic piece up, pull the rest of the spring knob up, and gently lower our mass. Now keep in mind, you do wanna have your bikes off of there. I recommend collapsing that as well, just to reduce strength, reduce the strain on our bike rack. And as you can see, we can simply pop open that hatch, 
And now I can get anything I need. I got coolers, bike helmets, anything that I might have gotten in the back here or need to get to, or maybe we're just at the grocery store and we want to load everything up. It's nice that we can actually get this out of the way. I think that there we go. There's the button. And as you can see, very nice and simple. And then all we have to do, simply support our mast, walk it back into place. That spring knob's gonna go ahead and lock itself down. So it's pretty hands-free. Now take a look at the bottom here. Another important dimension to keep in mind is our clearance. Now that we are up on the Escalade, we are gonna have you know pretty ample clearance to begin with. But keep in mind, as those front wheels go up, everything in the back will go down. So it's still important to keep it in mind, especially if you have any steep terrain, maybe uh, you know a really tall driveway that we're going over all the time. And you can see from the bottom here, looks to be about oh, 22 and a quarter inches to the bottom of our mass here. So I don't think we're gonna have any issues with our clearance, but keep in mind, as we said, when you're going over anything really tall. Taking a look at the bottom here too, we actually do have a inch and a quarter receiver. However, it comes with a two inch two inch hitch adapter that allows us to use our two inch hitches as well as included anti rattle hitch pin that is included with that as well. And it's a threaded one. So when you tighten that down, it's going to get in line with your vehicle, making for a single system with our vehicle. That's going to take the strain out of our bikes. We're going to feel it less as we go down the road, making for a nice smooth ride and taking a look on this side as well. We do have a nice included locking cord that comes with this Yakima product. And as we talked about before, it can utilize the same key system. So if you already have Yakima product, Products, you can go ahead and switch this locking core out, or if you're just starting, you can get the rest of your products to match this one as well. Well, if you're looking for a way of getting four bikes to the trails for either you or your family, this is going to be a great option for you. As you can see, it looks really slick. The curved mass just gives you a little bit more clearance from here, getting away from your vehicle is always nice. We're not worrying about the vehicles actually hitting each other. And the nice seven inches subset, it's going to give us pretty good clearance. And with those anti-sways, I don't think we're going to have too many issues with our bikes hitting each other. Well, I think that about does it for our look at the Acoma Backroad 4-Bike Carrier on our 2020 Cadillac Escalade. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching. Now we're going to go ahead and take it on our test course. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side-to-side -side action. It's kind of going to mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. And now with the fold speed bumps, these are gonna be pretty much like normal speed bumps. You get to see the up and down action of the bike rack and see how it holds up. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is gonna be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on.